Let's go ahead and move it into that microclimate forecast. And we just uh, heard about this Sierra snowpack. So I did want to update you on how we're doing so far uh, for the rainfall season. And everybody now running a surplus, which is remarkable because Santa Rosa had a major deficit just a few weeks ago. Now we're up 0.65 inches. Oakland 7.53 inches. San Francisco 5.96. Even running a surplus here of one inch in San Jose. And of course, we're going to be adding to that the next seven days. The other thing. A damage aside here that is excellent news for us is the fact that the reservoirs have had a major increase. Look at this 86% of capacity up across our North Bay reservoirs, East Bay Mud 91%, Uvis at 100%, Lexington even getting up to 68% of capacity. So, did the math on this, and you can see Uvis Reservoir. 54% increase since December 27th. Lexington Reservoir now a 26% increase. So uh, astonishing to see all of that. Now let's go ahead and get it into uh, what we're going to be tracking in the days ahead. And there is that next storm by Saturday and Sunday. Then beyond that, next Monday and Tuesday, we're following that second storm in the mix. So as we move it into Storm Ranger mobile Doppler radar, we have seen the worst move on out. There's still some straggling um, light to moderate shower that are continuing. Roadway is so wet. It's like that after storm for us. So uh, windshield wipers probably still on that high speed. Uh, you can see it right here through Contra Costa and Alameda counties. This continues to push off towards the east as we uh, move through 531 here in Lafayette. Antioch uh, continuing that rain into 602 tonight. Uh, now when it comes to the forecast tomorrow, here's the good part. We're under a quick break. Uh, so hopefully you get a little bit of time there to do some of that cleanup because I know so many of us have a lot of stuff to get done before that next storm. Rolls in. Temps will be cold. You need that jacket out there. 54 in Santa Rosa, 59 in Concord, 60 right on down there towards San Jose. Now, how about that next storm? All through the day tomorrow, that rain line is going to be pointed right up towards Eureka. So we are not expecting any heavy rain tomorrow. If anything, just again, a slight chance of maybe a spotty shower. Then we start to see that next storm beginning to move into the North Bay by 9 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. Then it's going to take its time. Eventually, we'll get some rain over the East Bay and South Bay by Saturday afternoon and we'll continue some on and off rain as we roll into Sunday. It does look like right now by Sunday morning we could be in for a strong line of uh, some very, very heavy downpours and also maybe even some thunderstorms that could produce some small hail. So active this weekend, but here's the different part about this storm system compared to what we just went through. Rainfall totals are going to be wide ranging. Look at this. This is Saturday's totals will be anywhere from a half to about one and a half inches for most of the Bay Area. Then you get up towards Guerneville, and that's where we'd be in that two plus inch range. Then we add on Sunday's totals. Most of the Bay Area with that weekend storm would be good for anywhere between three quarters of an inch uh, to about three inches. Again, the bullseye up towards the North Bay right there through the Santa Cruz Mountains. Uh, so with the North Bay in that bullseye, Russian River and Guerneville, we have been talking about this. Uh, this tomorrow goes to 26 feet, and then we think it's going to get up to late Sunday and Monday, 35.8 feet. That's considered a moderate moderate flood. We know you're used to it if you live up there uh, near the Russian River, but uh, just a reminder, this would start flooding at Parker's Resort. Mirabelle Trailer Park also begins to flood, flooding at Creekside Resort, and some of the lowest lying parts of town could also flood. So start thinking about what you would be doing here as those waters rise. Make your plan, make it now. So again, that next storm coming in Saturday, Sunday. A second one, that, that's the one I'm concerned about right now by Monday and Tuesday because that'd be four days in a row of consistent uh, periods of rain that we'd undergo. So Monday and Tuesday, that's the one I'm really worried about. Uh, we're going to continue to have more updates, of course, coming up tonight, my next one in about 15 minutes.